Nina? Uh, Phyllis, is Mike there? No, he accidentally left his phone behind. He's on his way to the Tano. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, <clears throat> Mike is here now. We'll talk soon. Hey. What's the matter, Nina? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, I, I wasn't expecting to see you. You're supposed to be... Dead? I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Here I am, alive and well. Yeah. Well, Peter, why would I think otherwise? I'm just um, surprised to see you. You were supposed to be in St. Lucia. Oh, that's right, beautiful St. Lucia, where I was scheduled to meet my doom, the hands of your Aunt Liesel. Very clever, Nina. Not clever enough. I told you I had eyes and ears everywhere. One of my contacts alerted me to the fact that Aunt Liesel's travel plans were headed to St. Lucia as well. I'll have you know that my would-be assassin has been waylaid. What did you do to her? Is she okay? Oh, Auntie's being handled. Now. How best to handle you? We had a deal, Nina. All you had to do was find a lead. So I could track down my daughter. And then I'd leave your nephew in Port Charles and leave you alone so you could live out your cozy little lie of a life. How is Sonny, by the way? You two doing a construction project together now? Listen, Peter, just leave Sonny out of it. You want me to help you find your daughter? Okay, fine, I will help you. Just tell me what you need. Our agreement became null and void the moment you sent me off to be ambushed. Okay, I panicked. I panicked. I am so sorry. It's just I wasn't sure that I could get all the information that you demanded of me. I was afraid. No, what you were was overconfident. You were so convinced that your demented aunt would succeed in her mission. You never bothered to consider the alternative. Well, I'm sorry, Nina. Liesel failed. And now there have to be consequences.